welcome to the seed. Let's get creative. Okay guys, time for our first project. We're going to create a cool hot air balloon scene in the sky. For this project, you will need your two jars of water, brushes, your watercolour discs, and as an optional extra, you can use your pencils if you would like to. You'll also need your fine line marker in black. So to start off, we're going to take some clean water, choose any colour you like, and as a little side tip, I find that it's a really good idea to have a scrap of watercolour paper nearby. The brilliant watercolour discs can be difficult to tell what some of the colours are particularly these darker ones. So it's good to have a little piece of paper nearby so that you can just test out and see which colour you're actually dipping into. I'm going to start off with a nice vibrant purple. Loading up our brush with a bit of water dipping it into the colour of your choice, double checking which side of your paper has the nice texture on it. Going to go in anywhere you like and just create a nice oval shape. And repeat that with different colours. Making sure you keep those a nice light wash because we're going to go over and add some other colours and patterns afterwards. Okay guys, now that I've got my various ovals in different colours for my balloons, it's time to add a few clouds. Take a smallish kind of brush, round is probably best. Dip into some clean water and just choose some sections where you want to add a cloud and add some clear water to the page. We're then very, very gently going to take a tiny bit of blue and dip it into that wet paint. And repeat. Okay guys, once you're happy with all your cloud formations and you're sure that your balloon tops are dry, we can go in and add some patterns. Using a nice fine brush, choose any colours you like and use your imagination to create some different shapes. You can practice on a piece of paper first, doing some lines, some cross hatching, maybe some circles or different shapes. 
to add a pattern to each of your balloons. I've finished adding all the patterns to my balloons. I'm going to let that dry and then we'll come back in and finish off our artwork. Okay guys I'm back. My balloons and clouds are fully dry and I'm ready to add my baskets for the final step. There's two options you can use to add your little baskets for your hot air balloons. You can either take your watercolour pencil and draw out your basket then add the clear water and paint your basket in or you can freestyle it taking some brown from your watercolour discs we're going to add four rope strands and then create a basket which is kind of a trapezium shape so it's sl more slender on the base and it sticks out more on the top we can then fill that in or create a basket pattern by doing some cross hatching and line work I'm going to freestyle my baskets. Sounds dry. Sounds dry. And there we have it guys, my finished hot air balloon watercolour artwork. You can now, as an optional extra, go in and outline your balloons and baskets with your fine liner if you'd like to show a bit more fine detail and give some outlines to your balloons. I like mine how it is, so I'm going to sign it and frame it. Have fun creating your hot air balloon artwork.